Hey everyone, welcome to the Shortwave channel. So I've been uh, having fun comparing the uh, the R20 and the R30 of ICOM, uh, having both receivers now, you know. The R30 is the new one that replaces the R20. Uh, right now they're on VHF, but uh, of course I've been doing a lot of HF listening. One of the things that I would say is positive of the ICOM ICR30 for HF is that it uh, is more sensitive than the R20. So the R30 is this one, more sensitive. Uh, it is, thanks to a narrow filter, better at uh, you know selectivity when there are many stations close together. But also what is really cool and when you're outside is that the R30's audio is much stronger than the R20. So this is kind of cool at least to know that, um, you know, there's better uh, listening experience there. Uh, definitely it can't cope well with uh, outdoor antennas. So if I put the MLA30, because this is an SMA connector, it overloads quite easily on the HF bands. You got to use the attenuation. Um, heavily to really have something um, and if I compare that to a uh, standard portable say I I would compare the overloading of the ICOM ICR30 on HF on the uh, MLA30 loop and um, basically this would uh, make me go uh, and say that the regular portables like the Texan PL680 uh, the um, C Crane Skywave SSB, uh, the um, XHD D808 actually cope better than uh, that radio with uh, the uh, MLA30. Another observation also is that although it is not bad on HF, a portable like the XHD D808 beats it. Uh, so, you know, if you're wondering, should I buy this for HF? You'll get, you know, an XH data and an MLA30 and many other goodies for the price you would pay to have this for HF. And I don't think the consideration of the ICOM ICR30 should be based on the fact that uh, you're going to listen to shortwave with it as you would have a better performance out of uh, a lot of portable receivers. But for what it does, because it's a wideband receiver, it does it better than the R30 on the HF scale of things, that's for sure. Uh, so anyways, going to continue playing around today. I've uh, had some uh, fun uh, receiving some FM satellites and uh, I'll probably do a couple of videos on the VHF uh, channel uh, today. So uh, try to do a little content for that channel also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up and I will be uh, comparing both on HF by the way today. So I'll be receiving signals and showing you one and the other and up to you to decide which one is better according to uh, what you hear.